Hello and welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung. And let's do a quick video about VLANs. We're going to get it started off with VLANs inside of Pack Tracer, and specifically, it's going to be two computers and a single switch. So nothing too fancy, but uh, just to get you started off understanding the concept of VLANs, drag in a 3560 and then drag in two PCs. We're going to rename these PCs. We're going to call this computer one and computer two. And just because I hate calling them PC zero and PC one confuses the hell out of me. And then click on PC one and rename it as computer two. Gonna do th the same thing to this switch zero because I don't like it being called multi-layer switch zero. It's completely dumb. I'm just gonna call it switch one. And also rename the host name and we've got our basic topology. Now we need to connect these up. Click on the connections button right there. And it's gonna be copper straight through. So because these are different devices, a computer and a switch, it's gonna be a straight through. So on switch one, it's gonna be fast zero one. Go back down here to copper straight through. Click back on switch one. It's gonna be fast zero two, connecting over to computer two. Okay. So we've got a single switch with two computers. Might be something you have at home or a small business, uh, you know, any type of business, let's say less than 10 people. But what happens when you reach uh, kind of like critical mass of about more than 10 people? Well, normally this switch and these computers are able to talk to each other. If we give these computers an IP address, you'll see that they'll be able to ping each other normally. So the way I'm gonna do that, Click on a computer, go over to desktop, IP configuration, and type 1111, and make a mask of 255.255.255.0. Same deal on the other side, except it's gonna be 1.1.1.2. Go to desktop, IP configuration, 1112, and three 255s in there. And then on computer two, go to the command prompt and ping the other computer, ping the IP address, 1.1.1.1, and you can see there is a reply. All right, so everything works perfectly, not a problem, and got a single switch in there. Cisco switches by default, all the ports are running in what's known as VLAN 1. So VLAN stands for Virtual Local Area Connection, and all the ports in the same VLAN, basically they could talk to each other. It's a little more complicated stuff than that, but think of it as if you're in the same VLAN, you can talk to other computers or other devices in the same VLAN. All right, so now what happens if uh, these VLANs change? So if I take one port and I put it in a different VLAN, what happens? Are the computers still able to talk to each other by default? So first of all, let's go into the switch right here and go into the command line. And let's see what VLANs we got. So show VLAN brief. You can see that VLAN one is running on all of my ports. Don't have any other VLANs. So first order of business is I'm going to actually make a VLAN. So conf t VLAN two, I'm going to give it a name and let's say we have a legal department and I'm gonna put all my legal guys into VLAN 2. And then to make this stick, I'm gonna type an exit and out of there, show VLAN brief, and now I have a VLAN 2 and you can see the name is legal. Now this name, this doesn't actually, this is not actually sent across the wire or anything. It is just there so we can look at this configuration, look at this show VLAN brief and see that for our eyes, we know that VLAN 2 is for the legal department. The computers and the switches, uh, they understand only that number two there. Now you can see that under ports, nothing is in ports. So this VLAN, it's on the switch, but it's not actually running anywhere. So let's put computer two into VLAN two. And just looking at our map here, you can see that fast zero two is connected to computer two. So we need to go over to interface fast zero two. So you have to do a conf T first, interface fast zero two. And now switch port 
mode access puts it into access mode it was already in access mode so that that last line you didn't really need to type that in but it's good habit too and then switch port access do a question there it says don't type in the word vlan so switch port access vlan and then the number of your vlan so i'm going to put in vlan 2 and end out of there and you can see right here that that port light has now turned orange and so nothing's being transmitted across that switch has kind of cut the connection to computer 2 temporarily and what that is that's because of spanning tree trying to prevent a loop. So it's going to kind of sit there for about 30 to 50 seconds while it figures out that no other switch is connected on that link. And then eventually that orange light will turn green, as you can see there. So let's see, will computer 2 be able to ping computer 1? Well, let's go over to computer 2, go over to this command prompt, run that ping again, and you can see that ping is dying it is dead and so let's go to our switch go back to our switch go back to command line show vlan brief you can see there that legal that vlan 2 is running on fast 02 so these two ports are in different vlans therefore the computers on those ports cannot talk to each other we wanted to show MAC addresses, show MAC address table. You can see that we have a MAC address in VLAN 1. It's going to be that FAST01 interface. Let's do it again. Okay, so we only see one guy over there. Actually, let's show IP interface brief. Now you can see both my FAST01 and FAST02 are up. My VLAN 1 right there, my interface VLAN 1 is down down. That's actually a management VLAN there, but that's not affecting our stuff because the main thing we're concerned about is this right here. So VLAN 1 is running on ports FAST01. VLAN 2 is running in FAST02. Now what I can do is I can pop FAST01 into our legal VLAN, and I can do that by going into interface FAST01, switch port access VLAN 2. Now let's think about this. Before, the computers were in different VLANs, they couldn't ping each other, they couldn't reach each other, but if I hit enter here, think to yourself, or ask yourself, will I be able to ping the other guy? The two sides are going to be in the same VLAN, VLAN 2. They both have an IP address within the same network. So 1.1.1.1, 1.1.1.2. And uh, if you guessed yes, you would be correct. So I've changed that port to VLAN 2. If you want to show the, the running config, you could show run interface fast01. Oops. That doesn't work in Packet Tracer, so we'll just have to do a show run. And there's our config right there. I guess we could add interface fast01 switch port mode access just to be safe. Access port mode means that you're basically having a end machine connected to that port. So not another switch, but another uh, computer, could be a printer, could be a phone, but it is basically an access port. It's the end of the line for a network. Okay, let's go over to computer two, go over to command prompt. Let's see if we can ping the other side and we have a reply. So as long as they're in the same VLAN, they are able to ping each other. All right, that's a quick and easy intro into VLANs. In the next video, we're going to stay with a single router, add more computers to the mix, and see how things change. Thanks for watching.